I'm doing some stove stuff again, this time in the house, so I might get in trouble, but we'll see. I don't want to do it in the garage because it's hot. Anyway, we're going to test this uh, Goss Hawk. Uh, gosh, I forgot the, the name. I guess it's just the Goss Hawk Spirit Burner versus this uh, Tom Shu alcohol stove. Got a new one. It looks just like the Goss Hawks, and these look just like Trangias, uh, but this one is a lot lighter. The Tom Shu weighs in at... 36 grams. The Goss Hawk weighs in at 82 grams. Quite a bit of a difference there, but let's see how they perform. All right, first up is the Goss Hawk. We are going to put two ounces of heat in there. There we go, two ounces of heat. We're going to Use the Vargo, 20 ounces of water, room temperature. And as we do, we're gonna see how long it takes to boil and how long it goes. I'm gonna go ahead, use the stand on there, keep things consistent. And here we go. Oh, that was close. There it goes. We are starting. Put that on there, and we'll come back. All right, we are at 13 minutes, and this thing is boiling. Just so you can see. Yeah, it's it's boiling. It's moving. I guess it could be boiling better, but it is still boiling at 13 minutes. So we're gonna take this off and see how long it. Uh, let's see how long that goes for. All right, we're getting close to 22 minutes, and it's it's starting to flicker. Um, I remembered why I chose that one over the other Goss Hawk is because it was a little bit lighter. Uh, but this is the Goss Hawk that I did like a lot, the, the siphon. And you can see the differences. It's got these in there that kind of makes a makes it burn a little more efficient. And I guess gives a little swirl. Uh, it is a little heavier. This is 92 grams. But I kind of think that maybe I would be going back to this if this one outperforms the Tom Shoe. But uh, we'll see what happens there. 13 minutes to boil and looks like 24 minutes to burn it's still going but yeah it's pretty much out of 24 minutes um you might also be saying like hey why didn't you let it bloom before you put in your stuff on there uh this because that's how i feel like doing it i don't want to waste fuel waiting for everything to bloom because they you know bloom at different rates so just hit it and go all right let's get these switched out and see how it does and uh, you might be like, why don't you use a Trangia? Get yourself a Trangia. I have a Trangia. And the Trangia works great. Love the Trangia. It's old, you know, old faithful, old reliable. That's why they, everybody swears by Trangia. But, you know, I want to I wanna try other things too. Because who knows? There could be something out there that works better. Gosh, I spilled a lot of that. Let's put in a little more. That should be enough. Oh gosh, that was a mess. But let's see how it does. Well, I guess I need to put water in, in there. So I guess this isn't going to be totally accurate because I spilled some and got some on the tray. This should be fun. But I also haven't been always 100% scientifically accurate here. I just try to be, get as close as possible, you know, science adjacent. So, all right, let's see how this goes. Well, I don't know if it got inside. I don't think it got inside. So I'm gonna stop the timer. 
Uh, okay, yeah, now it's it's inside. Right, so we reset the timer. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, lots of blue on the side. That's my fault. Hopefully that calms down in a minute. Wow, so that took eight minutes for it to, to bloom up all the way around. But I guess it's kind of my fault for just throwing that on there. Um, I might do another test just with this by itself in the future to see it bloom. Wow, I almost hit the, hit the thing right there. Uh, just to see it bloom and see how that does. But I wanted to keep it consistent between the both. It's probably best practice to have it bloom before you put a pot on there, but I wanted to see how fast it would go from the get-go, from the light to the boil. Let's go. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, we are at 13 minutes. Sorry, I got tired of it sliding. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's boiling. But let's check. Yeah, it's it's not boiling. It's not even close to boiling. So I guess we'll see again how long it takes to boil. All right, so we are at 29 minutes. And it is still not boiling, but you can hear it down below hollering. Um, yeah, it looks like it's getting pretty low down there. I don't know if this will reach a boil before it's out or not. All right, so, hey, maybe some good news. Just hit 32 minutes, and if we take a look, it's actually boiling. We've got some boiling going on. So, let's see how, uh, how much longer this runs. I don't think it's gonna be much longer. But, we'll see. Here we are, 49 minutes, and, oh, I guess it just snuffed out. Um, yeah, 49 minutes, and it just finally died out. Now, that is a really bad angle for me now. But, okay, wow, where the whole lighting change? Okay, anyway, sorry, we're back. Bloopers, right? Maybe not bloopers, just leaving it. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, not really sure how fair all that was, though, on this run. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let everything cool down. Uh, you know, return to temperature, dry out, and then I'm going to rerun the test again. Um, I think I'm going to do a proper bloom and time that as well and see, uh, yeah, see how that goes. Maybe we can get some better time and, you know, a little more, a little more accurate amount of fuel and all that stuff. So I guess I'm back. All right, here we are a couple hours later. Let's redo this and do it right. Okay, as you see, you got the iPad there. Let's go ahead. Get that water in there. Darn it, missed the uh, recycling bin. Two ounces of heat. I'll try not to spill any. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get this lit. Go. Go ahead and wait for that to bloom. We're at two minutes and 18 seconds. It's still trying to bloom. It's, it's trying, it's almost there. All right, we're at four and a half minutes and it still has not fully bloomed. I don't know if you can see, there's still some jets that that aren't bloomed. Uh, some kind of come and go. 
Um, I think at the five minute mark, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on there because, I mean, it definitely should have should have gone up by then. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't put, you know, maybe I should have put in more than two ounces so it could siphon up more. I don't know, but that's where we're at. Okay, we're at five minutes. So we're, we'll start the boil counter at five minutes. Checking where we're at. We are at now 16 minutes, which means 11 minutes on the fire. And not boiling yet. All right, so it's at 30 minutes right now. It's still not boiling. And the flame's getting kind of weak. But we'll keep going. Okay, 45 minutes, we're still going. And it's still not boiling, but at least it's steaming. Okay, we're at 51 minutes. That means 46 minutes since the bloom. I'm hearing some noises. Maybe, maybe we got some going on here. Not quite. Not quite. There's like some bubbles are forming and stuff, but but still not quite. But we might get there. We might get there. <sighs> Approaching 55 overall minutes. That means 50 minutes on the stand. Maybe we got something. Not quite yet, and you might say, hey, why are you taking the top off? You're losing that energy. Well, yeah, but I got to check it somehow when I don't have a probe. Yep, one hour just clicked by since it, since it lit. 55 minutes since the bloom. Checking it out. Uh, okay, we got some stuff moving up, but I still not say it's not considered a safe boil yet. Almost so close. I am impressed though by two ounces that it's uh, still going. Here we are again. Minute five. Oh, darn it. There we go. Minute five, which means it was on the fire for an hour. Sounds like it's boiling. Sounds like it's going now. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I would say we have a boil in there <laughs> if I don't steam up the lens. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say we got a boil in there. Not a strong boil, but a boil. So, it only took an hour. Let's see how long it uh, burns for the rest of it. Uh, it's almost out, too. Wow. Okay, it literally just died before I was able to capture it on camera, but it was still at the 1 hour and 18 minute mark. So that's, hey, look, it's dark behind me now. So that's pretty impressive for two ounces, but the actual like power output to boil the water, not very good. Also, yeah, please be careful when, I don't wanna say playing, but playing with fire, experimenting with fire, because it could, it could be pretty dangerous. And doing that inside is, was, you know, very risky, probably stupid of me too. But, you know, also in my mind, I'm like, well, I got it in the pan. 
and I got the pan on some coasters, so it should be okay. Luckily nothing happened and it was okay. Anyway, back to the, uh, the stove. So, Tom Shoe, the, the black one, I mean, it looks cool, but just the, the performance was, was not there. So I, I don't think I can be, I don't think I can be adding this one to my, uh, to my bag. I'll just either stay with, you know, the, a, a Trangia or a Goshawk. That's what I'm going to have to do because just, it wasn't there for this one. Sorry, Tom Shoe, you make some cool other stuff, but it's just, this isn't it. Anyway, get outside, experiment safely, enjoy life. Talk to you later, probably with another stove review, or maybe a knife review, we'll see. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment. Check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit.